The ad for the first TV with colors must have been in black and white. Remember the adverts for DVD? Showing how much better the picture quality was and how much better the sound quality was, but you were watching it on a VHS. I have a memory of when I was about five years old. I was watching TV at the sitter's house. It was in BW. My family had a BW TV, it was all I knew. While watching this program in BW, it went to a commercial that was in color I was blown away. It had such an impact that I still remember it almost 60 years later. TV advertising and color TV appeared almost at the same time, in the early 50s. Color TV were advertised in store windows and newspapers, not on TV it would have been pointless to advertise TV set to the very few people that had a TV set already the market was people without a TV. Not necessarily, it could very likely been in print and not on a TV commercial. Back in those days you would have seen these shown off in a window display. Or more likely a preview before a movie or something. Something where lots of people and word of mouth would happen. Some comedian had a bit long ago about how you can't effectively advertise a TV that looks better than yours, through a TV commercial. Well that does look better than mine, now that I see it. In the UK, Sky used to advertise HD television honesty using abstract animations of wavy lines. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing an ad at some point that said, if you had a color TV you could see this commercial in full color or something. You are right my family had a black and white TV in the 60s when Batman came out. The title clearly said Batman Eye in Color, and every other commercial was for color TVs. I pleaded with my dad, but he said the Volkswagen cost $1,600 bucks and he didn't have the $400 to buy a color TV. I had to wait until 1972. I doubt they had ads on TV. Mostly newspapers and walking by your local store and seeing it. Reminds me when I saw a news report about HDTVs when they first came out. They were showing images of the TV but of course they still looked like crap because I didn't have an HDTV yet. Yep. When color TVs were a new thing, many shows were still in black and white. They'd always tell you about it. We would always beg to stay up to watch the Disney show. It was supposed to be in living color but it never was. We were rather late adopters we didn't get a color TV until my aunt passed away and we got hers. Not if they were being shown on color TVs in stores. We have the same thing with TVs today. Ads for 8K TVs will loop on TVs inside retail stores so everyone can see the difference. Sure, there are some on broadcasts that will mainly be shown in lower quality, but those were Desti 6 Ned for that. What about the first TVs being advertised on the radio? It's just like radio, except you can see me too. This was the era of brick and mortar stores. So I guess seeing the color video on stores would pop a lot. It was like when we started to have full HD TVs close the tube ones. Ads for color TVs were only BW in such newspapers with text discounts or come in to see at so and so's appliance shop. Generally they'd have a color unit playing in the window display. Not much advertising for color TVs on TV other than branding promotions. I remember HD TV ads on SD TV. Didn't really illustrate it well. My parents had a really old black and white TV in the guest room. It had the rabbit ears and no hookups to my knowledge. A year IDK where I was going with this. Haven't thought about that old thing in years. I never used it really but one time I watched Sonic the Hedgehog on it because someone was playing Sega on the other one. Funny thing, color TV was first demonstrated in the 1920s. In the 1970s a good color TV was $500 or around $3,300 in today's money. Look at here beautiful colors oh, you still have black and white. Tough luck. This is like watching advertising on a standard LCD TV for a 4K, 8K, 3D, whatever TV that's better than the one you're using now. I'm not sure but I guess they desaturate the rest of the image that isn't the image on their TV, on my TV. 
the color opening of Sunday night's Disney show used to amaze us. Those TV ads pissed me off in the 60s. I don't care how well the peacock's colors were described and compared and exclaimed over by excited TV people, they were showing in pure zenith gray. It was more just displaying color TVs in a window of a shop. Word of mouth was your advertisement back then. Magazine printed in color were huge for advertisers back for just this reason. They allowed you to present really glossy ads which got a ton of engagement. Heck, even in the early 2000s, PC magazine, popular photography etc. had amazing ads that readers usually liked. I'll bet Time and Newsweek had a lot of color TV ads back then. I remember watching Star Trek with my cousins, on a color TV. When Mr. Spock entered a scene, one of said cousins just started laughing hysterically, because Spock looked a little green. My family didn't get a color TV for many years maybe late 70s early 80s. Wasn't broadcast still being done in BW. I remember reading somewhere that people had color TV but the broadcast was BW and then one day some channel BBC I think flipped the switch and the, the broadcast turned color for those people. Not necessarily. The equipment for generating television signals such as cameras and editing decks could have supported color signals before a color television set was created. Secondly, a studio could have produced a color advertisement video before the widespread consumer adoption of color TV sets. Because NTSC color is backward compatible with black and white TV sets, people with BW TV would see the commercial in black and white, and people with a color TV would see the same commercial in color. When I was young I watched reruns of a show called Combat it was filmed in black and white. Later seasons, they changed the title card to Combat in color to let their audience know they've updated their filming process. I wouldn't be surprised if they advertised them the same way VR did five six years ago, with mall store kiosks to demonstrate. Seems like a similar no other way to show it off type of thing. Once found a mail in brochure from the early 80s at my parents' house years ago was advertising the new cable TV. They printed a picture of the two different screens on paper, comparing the grainy noisy over-the-air image with the crystal clear cable image. It's always ironic to see ads for new televisions showing how bright and crisp the image is, but you're watching it on your old boring TV. The commercial may have been in color, just would have been viewed in black and white. Lots of stuff was already in color pretty much all movies before a TV could present it, although most programs were in black and white. Take it from someone who was there, did that. Not if they were paper. Or more likely a stack of color TVs in the window, playing shit. Where things recorded in black and white. I thought that TV just didn't have the ability to show color but the recording was normal. The ad itself would almost certainly have been in color, but the vast majority of televisions weren't able to broadcast it except for in BW. Tomato Tomato According to my boomer age dad, they did actually advertise the see the difference between black and white and color TV. The ads were on TV, which was ironic. There were certainly color ads in magazines and newspapers before color TV. When I was a teenager the ads for HDTVs were on all the time. I used to laugh at how they were trying to depict what HD looked like on non-HDTVs. I remember seeing ads for DVD at the end of VHS tapes and even now ads for 4K and HDR TVs and monitors on my ordinary monitor. It never ends. Color TV was a thing when I was a child in the 90s. But color wasn't really a thing on portable screens. We had Game Boy and Tamagotchis and things. One day my brother's Japanese friend showed us a color, but not backlit, Tamagotchi-like device with an animated Pikachu on it. Mind blown. The first TV ads. Chances are the first ads for color TVs were in color, but were also in print in newspapers and magazines. Nope it was in color and in a magazine. Ads were not really anything like they are now in TV at that time. Why a, they advertise for 4K UHD TVs and even show visuals on them despite the fact that many people are watching the ad on vastly inferior hardware. 